Morning, morning, morning. It is English for Tuesday. Um, let's get cracking. So the first one, relative clause for the sentence. Which punctuation, what punctuation would you need? Obviously you want commas. So the caca parrot, um, which is a bird I've never seen, perched high up in the rainforest canopy. And as I look out my window, I can see a greenfinch on my bird feeder, which I wish I could show you, but my camera wouldn't be able to see it. What a lovely bird. Um, B, can you get the correct shul words? So absolutely necessary is going to be essential, top secret, confidential, and then relating to money, financial. Be interested to see if you spelt those right. This one here, plural possessive apostrophe is incorrect. Rewrite it correctly. Well, to be fair, it's the apostrophe that's wrong. So if it's lots of pupils lessons, well, it's pupils and then apostrophe at the end. So it's the pupils apostrophe lessons were much more interesting. D, now, D. Show whether it's an adverb or adjective for the under underlined words. The fisherman pulled hard on his line. Well, that is an adverb, because it's how he pulled. It was a direct flight to Greece. Also an adverb, because it's telling you, you know, how they got there. Is it They flew, but it was a direct flight. The family arrived early to the pantomime. Again, early as time can be classed as it, it's a verb. So it feels strange to say this, but all of those are adverbs. And even I'm inside going, ooh, I I can't be right having three adverbs and no adjectives. But they are adverbs, all three. Some of them, The trick with this is some of them can be adjectives. Um, if you say that the bed was hard, then you're describing how, what the bed is. But in this, you're describing how he pulled, so you're describing the adverb. So I think that's why it's, it looks strange, because they can be adjectives, but it depends how they are in the sentence. Right, let's put the correct form of, uh, verb form of to have in these sentences. Later today, we are having a party for Grandma's 65th birthday. The boys had a fantastic time at Cub Scout, Cub Scout Camp, I'd say. So we've got having, had, my friends all have very different personalities. Nice, good one. Hopefully we're finding those okay with different verb forms. And you know what? I'm going to be completely honest. If I... Oh, there are two gold finches now. Green finches, even. Anyway, sorry. Oh, no, there are three. Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting distracted with the birds on my bird feeder. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. When I don't make the conundrum, I, I can't work it out. I've, I'm thinking it, think, it ends with itty. I-T-Y. That's what you got to look for, prefixes and suffixes and endings. But then I can't work out what the root word is, especially with a V. Oh! Variety. V-A-R. Variety. I got it. Variety. Got it. Nailed it. Next. Yes. Right. On to what we need to do for our English. So hopefully, yesterday, you looked through the clip a couple of times, which I said yesterday, it's instantly become one of my favourites. I've never I've never used it before, but I really, really like it. Um it's just so thought provoking, you know, what is he what is the character doing? Why? What's happened? You know, there's there's so many questions that come from it. And the music is really emotive as well. It really helps set the the feeling of the of the the video. Today I want you to start thinking about the key elements to this video or the key moments that you would select in your writing. So, you, you know, you're going to have to go back and look at it again. Or it might be that what are the key things you remembered from it? And then they're clearly the key moments. If you were to write about, if you were to write this as a story, which we're going to build up to, what would your main three or four scenes focus on? Maybe three, four, even five. So down here, I screenshotted what I think the four main parts would be so you know you've got a character on a flying contraption ship sunset we've got him burning things we've got him driving directly into the storm and then we've got him sat down he set everything in autopilot and he's into the eye of the storm now you might disagree there you might think there's there's a couple more that's fine i've just gone for for four, I don't think you can do less than four if I'm completely honest. Um, three maybe if you miss out that one. 
but there's no reason why we should be. Once you've done this, so once you've decided on your, your, your four or five main scenes to focus on, and you might want to watch it and just kind of scribble it down, so, or, or if you've got a computer, you might feel free to screenshot it yourself. I want you to mind map what you can see, hear, touch, smell, and the biggest for this clip are the emotions and thoughts. If you send me a piece of text that's got nothing about how the character's feeling or or no description that portrays the feelings, you know, set, you know, really sets that tone um, of 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 what the character's going through, then you're not going to have been going for what we were going for today, and you're going to have missed a big chunk of work. Annoyingly, this is where in class I would be here on the white on the interactive whiteboard, labelling lots of things, and you would be as well. I can't on here. Uh, it's you know I've got no touch ability to do this. Um, but I'm going to quickly point out things that you would instantly talk about. So, you know, on this one, you've got the sunset, you've got the clouds, you've got the colour of the sky, you've got a silhouette of, of, a, of a person, you've got this huge, interesting sci-fi ship, you've got cogs in the bottom, you've got a fluttering flag in the wind, you've just got yourself a paragraph full of description, you've got the setting, you know, it's always zoom, zoom in, you know, at the beginning of a film, I think I've said this before, starts out here and it zooms in so what's on the what's the biggest bit first we've well, got the sky the clouds and the sunset right zoom in what's the next biggest thing you've got this interesting contraption describe it the cogs the the wings you know you can make it up yourself a little bit zoom in a bit more what have we got we've got a fluttering flag zoom in a bit more we've got a silhouette of a person okay that's how you build it up and through those things you've identified what can you hear what emotions have we got? Maybe it's the way he's walking or moving. The flag, the flag can be making a noise. The sky could be silent. The no the the ship could be, it could be humming. You know, it's just it's just going through the motions. It's just flying through the sky. And you do the same with the others. Okay. So start zoomed out. What have we got? We're in a black room. Zoom in a bit. We've got cogs and we've got the we've got the traveller once more. Zoom in a bit more. We've got this blazing fire. Zoom in a little bit more got these strange possessions that he's throwing into this pit of eternal, eternal fire. And the same with all of them. Start zoomed out and zoom in. Before, If you do that, you'll suddenly have a list. You'll easily have five or six things that you can talk about in each section of your story. And that will end up giving you, you know, over a page of writing. Just by doing that zoom out, zoom in. Okay? And don't forget, I want all these senses. So don't just think about what you can see, but just, you know, emotions, what you can hear, what you can touch and, and, and see as well, okay? Um, this one's really important for the rest of our work this week, all right? A lot of us are writing really powerful things. Some of us are falling a little short. We're sending us something that's not long enough, not got enough in it. So this is really key for today, all right, guys? And I'll see you again for tomorrow to really get our teeth into this. I'm very, I hope you can tell I'm really excited about this one. This is something that I really wish we were in school doing right now, okay? So sit down, have a look at this, really get your brain juices flowing, okay? And good luck.